Hello everyone and welcome back to Chasing Adventures. And today I wanted to talk about different ways to make your sleeping more comfortable during your camping. So let's get right in. So I've been camping pretty much all my life. My uncle was a scout leader and he used to take me with him when, when I was younger. And my whole family loved camping. So we would camp in the woods, the beach, the mountains, whether it be rain or shine. And it's one of my fondest memories I still carry. And I guess that's why I love camping so much. And one of the important things about camping is, uh, sure, you need a good shelter to cover you from the weather and a decent netting coverage from the mosquitoes and bugs. But most importantly, your sleeping area needs to be comfortable because how well you sleep determines how much you're going to be enjoying your camping trip. Now, if you had a horrible sleep where you tossed and turn all night, guess what? You're going to have a horrible time during the day because one, you're going to be tired and two, your back's going to ache and it's not going to be enjoyable. But if you had a good night's rest, you're going to feel good and rested and energetic to enjoy and have pleasurable time during your stay. But I don't do remote hike camping, so most of these gears won't probably work for those light backpackers. So with that said, let me share my experiences and some of the gears that I use so far. Now, besides having a good sleeping bag, uh, one of the easiest ways to make your sleep more comfortable is just to be above uh, from the cold, uneven, rocky ground. And that's easily achievable with one of these sleeping cots. Now, I had this Coleman cot for many years and it's robust, sturdy, and comfortable cot. But the only downside is that it's heavy and it's a bit awkward to set up. So I tend to not to use it as much as I should. And this other cot that I recently purchased is from Nature Hike. And it's not sturdy as the Coleman cot, but it's very light and packs to very compact size to carry around. So let me just show you guys how to set these up. So first we're gonna set up the Coleman. Now the nature hike. Now, once you have it set up, like I said, the Coleman is one of the best cots out there. And it's big enough for bigger, wider adults. But the Nature Hike does have its trick up the sleeve, and that is, it is height adjustable. So if you have a low one-person tent, uh, this might do the trick and get you off from the ground. And that is easily done by adding these legs. So you could use without the legs, or you could just add these legs real quickly. And now the cot is tall as the Coltman. But the Nature Hike does feel a little more uh, flimsy and it does wobble around a little bit. But the Coltman is very sturdy, doesn't move at all. Another way is to carry one of these self-inflating camping mattresses. And you know, in the past I used those lightweight nylon non-self-inflating mattress. And I don't recommend them because they feel really thin, uh, fragile, uh, they're a bit noisy and not very comfortable to sleep in. And I felt like I had these bumps all over my back. So I'd rather get these self-inflating mattress, which has a foam inside and is at least two inch thick. And the cool thing about this mattress is that you could uh, connect two of them together into a single larger mattress by buttoning these two together. So when me and my wife uh, go camping, that's what we do. And if you combine these two together, uh, it's a game changer and, and you're gonna have the best night's sleep ever. <laughs> now, what if you like to camp and sleep in the car? 
And car camping has been very popular these days. And that's because one, it's very convenient because you don't have to set up any tent. And two, you feel safe at night. You know, you go in your car and lock the doors and you have an instant security. And finally, you are very mobile. You just have to pack and throw a few things back in the car and you're on the move again. So in the past, when it was just me and my wife, that's what we did. We actually made a sleeping platform in our little Prius V and put an actual full-size memory foam mattress in there. And let me tell you guys, it was very comfortable, like home away from home. <laughs> but again, it had some fallbacks to it because it was permanent thing. I mean, we officially turned our five-seater commuter into a two-seater camper and the mattress was in the car the whole time. So we couldn't carry anyone else except for us. And when our baby came, that all had to go. So my next solution was to get one of these inflating air mattresses for SUVs. So when I was using this on my last camping trip, I adjusted the firmness and slept very comfortably. So this mattress comes with its own 12 volt up air pump. And all you have to do is just plug it into your cigarette jack port here on your back of the SUV. And, and nowadays, most of the SUVs does come with the cigarette jack port. So it's very convenient to use this and put one of the adapters into the plug here. Now the valve has two valves here and one is for deflating and you put this back in there and this one is for inflating and, ha and it has a uh, one-way valve in here. So you could pump the air and once it's filled and when you take out the, the pump out, it doesn't deflate the mattress. So let me show you guys how to set this up in the car. And just a few minutes later, your air mattress is fully inflated. And the cool thing about Trekway mattress is that it has these separate chambers on the sides. So if you inflate these, uh, it will turn into a full-size mattress. So you could also use it at home when you have a guest over for the night or use it in your ground tent and have a full-size mattress. So it's like two-in-one deal. So I'm going to be using this more often. Plus it's got the silky velvety um, texture to it. So you're not gonna slide all over the place when you're sleeping. And another benefit to having a mattress like this compared to the thinner two inch self-inflating mattress is that it will support itself to some gaps in the car. For instance, uh, like this area here, when we were using the self-inflating mattress in the car, I would have to flip this headrest around so it would give it support. And, and, and for the middle, uh, we would have to fill in the gap in the middle as well. But with this mattress, it will support itself. So it, you don't have to really worry about those gaps. And this is not necessary, but I love using this in the cold weather. And it's the electric heated blanket from Sojoy. And it's specially made for the car. And it does get pretty hot and makes it very cozy to fall asleep into. And it only draws around 50 watts of power and it'll shut off after 45 minutes. So you won't drain your car's battery. But I use this with the power station, so that's not an issue for me. Now, if you're going to be car camping and sleeping in the car, I highly recommend to get one of these nettings that goes over your uh, window. So you could have it sealed so you could crack the window so you could help with the condensation that builds up in the car and have some breeze going through. And at the same time, you block all the mosquitoes and bugs that might fly into your uh, area when you're sleeping. So this is a must have for car camping. And all you have to do is set that up and close the door and you're good to go. And if you're interested in any of these items, I'll leave the links in the description below of this video. And check out my camping videos too, because I put a lot of effort to making those videos. So if you could do me a favor and click the like button and subscribe to the channel, which is free for you guys, but it'll benefit the channel so I could continue to make these contents for you guys. So thank you for tuning in. And until next time, keep chasing adventures and bye for now.